Last chapter of our discussion around website compliance is the most recent compliance guidelines that have been written, and that is WCAG 2.0, also called CAG 2.0. And it comes in three flavors. There's A, AA, and AAA. And each is more severe uh, in terms of the amount of work and effort that it takes to maintain that compliance, but it also makes it much easier for anyone with disabilities to use. So you may have something as simple as a video embedded in your website that if somebody is visually impaired, they're not able to see that video. Uh, so, you know, something that would match level A compliance is something as simple as creating an alt tag or explaining what the video is. Uh, even a caption under the video that says, this is a video of X. Uh, double A compliance would maintain actually having some captioning for the video itself throughout. So now there is at least the ability to get the context of what is being said throughout the video, as well as a little bit of the background. And then AAA compliance is actually being able to create either an alternate media type or including an audio and uh, text description of what is occurring in the video, as well as of course, any of the audio that is being played. So that anyone who may be visually impaired is not missing out on much uh, in terms of the content because they're able to get an audio description. There are a slew of things that CAG 2.0 covers. Um, that simple illustration is meant to give you an idea of what it takes to kind of meet each level of compliance as far as AAA and AAA go. Um, but it talks through everything around text size, ability to change text and font sizes, how you have to shade different things and provide different levels of contrast for different users. Uh, if you'd like to see more, we've certainly linked to those guidelines below. And we've also linked to a couple of sites that meet a, AA, and AAA compliance uh, that we've built so you can get an idea of you know, how those sites differ. And of course, if you have any questions about what kind of cost or timing implications those have, uh, please feel free to reach out to us and we'll get you some answers.